Tēnā koutou katoa, nau mai haere mai, welcome to Rotorua as week 7 of Bunnings NPC kicks off tonight, Northland playing host to Otago, of course this game was supposed to be in Whangarei but because of the COVID restrictions in Titai Tokoro, Bay of Plenty are hosting the game tonight, Jeff McTainch on the call alongside me, Kao Tanana, kia ora KT. The kia ora ho and kia ora tātou katoa, everyone at home, well Northland was outstanding two weeks ago beating Waikato, it should be real fresh coming off the bye. And Ascot has it. Cut out past Dixon and putting the head down. Jermaine Ainsley in the number three jersey. Joshua Ane oh, just steps off the right foot, passes away, and here they come. Ascot. Otago making some good inroads. There for Ascot again. Jackson, Ioane, Dylan Nell, second receiver. Powerful number eight for Otago. Ioane, another beautiful little pass. Fahakolo shifts it on to Gilbert. And Space Sam Gilbert gets it off beautifully. C.O. Tompkinson is going to score the opening try for Otago. Yes, a nice phase play there, but you can put that down to Josh Ioane. Three little touches of brilliance there from the number 10. There was nothing doing originally. There it is there. There's the initial break. The pass on the inside was good to ask Scott. He gave a nice loop pass after this as well. And this is just the third piece of brilliance. Holds the ball, it takes it to the line. Nice short pass, and from there, they were able to execute. Look at Patasio Tompkinson trailing in a nice inside line. What a start, BC. There goes, Tucker takes, and Ascot has it. Oh, call off first receiver. And now, here they go again, Otago Freedom, but Akolo, he's got wheels. Oh, tries to get it on the inside, Lynch, he's playing on the call. And the try is scored by the Otago captain. And again, just hard, yeah. straight running. Patelisio Tompkinson challenging the line. Northen using arms rather than shoulders, and they've come to play at this Otago team. Nice out the back, right hand. Akolo, look at the offloads already, that's off semi knock, unfortunately for Northen. Second try. Yeah, Sam Knox hand, that's the one on the way there. there Johnny Mathalai just trying to track him down, and that, that is play on, but it's off a really good, strong line out. It was Will Tucker. So Northland need to get into that game, find some rhythm now. Try and stem this Otago attack that is just full throttle at the moment. Now again carrying into the Northland defence. Now Ainsley. He runs into Josh Good, who makes the tackle around the boot laces. You are net. Sizes up some space down this left wing touch of uh, Northland, and it's there for Rivers Rehana. He puts it straight up to Gary Owen, and sizing it up is Ascot. A little half back, ball is loose, and that'll be a penalty to Otago. Northland are offside. Yeah, just not working at the moment, is it? For Northland, they look very slow. You can see he just puts his hand up, it wasn't the right length. He knew straight away as well. Good connection. He's on target, and Otago, after nine minutes in Rotorua, 17 points to nil over Northland. Yeah, now been strong with his carries, Joshuani leading the charge. You always want to play well in the uh, next coach's backyard, and he knows Joshuani that coach will be watching for the Chiefs, Clayton McMillan. Now he's still got the ball. Sam Keir off the deck, and here they come. Tamari Tua, oh, staunch defence. Ray Nu'u, second five on second five. And it's on the 10 metre line for the Tanifa. Now Ranger floats it away. Johnny Mathalai. He has uh, a welcome committee of uh, Freedom Bar Kolo. And plenty of contest at the break. Then here Ranger slips it over to Sam Knock in space. Sam Knock will win the race. Willie, too much pace. And he scores Northland's first. Well, out of nowhere. It was great defence again from Otago, but it was that man playing in game 101. Rene Ranger getting it started. There was nothing doing on the blind side, but he knew he had the one-on-one -on -one match. It was powerful through the tackle. That uh, nice overhead pass to Sammy Knock, and Sammy Knock, and Sammy Knock from there has yeah, the speed yeah, yeah, to finish. Yeah. Well, it just comes down to critical moments, doesn't it? And Ranger involved in another lovely ball and a little opportunity. You don't need to give much room to Sam Knock, and he'll take it. Good combination with Ranger. They had to strike back north and have done well. Three. Three. Yeah. 
Hard to go till half time here in Rotorua. Good you with the tag. He's trying to make a nuisance of himself in there. In the middle of that is Will Tucker. That uh, ripped away from Pryor. And out to it. Tries to step round the defence. Gets it off to Ranger. Renee Ranger. And they lure to ground there. Pryor will play halfback. They've got an advantage here. Tua shifts it on Hawkins. Surely hands for Northland. Matalai for the corner. And he scores their second. They go to the line. It was a good one too. They had the drive on, but the awareness of Cutter Pryor just to wheel out and release that ball when he knew Tucker was coming through. This is the here. Tumpty Tua with a nice offload to Ranger, who gets another one off to the right-hand winger. Lee Lua, and from there, they just needed to get it wide. Tua gets back involved. Hawkins gives it out. This is a nice pass taken, too, by Johnny Matalai. Still had a bit of work. Second try for the Tunnies. Not a key part for North and Ready. They just haven't panicked. They're down 17 now, and they've just worked their way back into this game brilliantly. They've relied on that experience. You've mentioned Ranger a number of times. So half time in Rotorua. It's Otago who lead Northland 17 points to 10. Well, just off camera, a bit of discussion in midfield here as Kid goes out. And they set them all. 10 metres out from this Otago line. Northland looking to make a sort of start of Targo mate to the first half. And Nock has it. They go for the short side play. Ranger will be hard to stop here. Run out, Ranger! Oh, just out. Very good tackle. Leo Willey. Northland. McNamara picks up the blind side. Ranger was all so close. And they go again, Northland. They're over the line here. Is it down, though? No. Clearly uh, held up. KT, just for a Go moment, I thought Rene Ranger might have been in. Yeah, well, I think if he backs himself there, he was actually looking to distribute and it just held up his momentum just a little. I think if he just goes full steam, as we know he can be, I think he's over the line. But like you said, Nine. awesome tackle there from Leo Willie to stop him. Yeah, okay, we'll stop. Time off. Well, they that just up. slowed it down, didn't they, Northland? They needed to keep going. They needed the pace to come there when Ranger put it back and not. Northland now. Looking to build into some work of their own, Rene Ranger. Oh, beautiful little inside pass. Doesn't quite go to hand from Ranger. That's one of the tricks he's got up his sleeve. The former All Black. But they win a penalty here, Northland. And that one against Will Tucker. Yeah, he just pushed a player off the ball when it was chased. It's unfortunate there for Tucker because he was there or thereabouts in that chase. He made Ranger lose the pelt. Best part of 45 metres for Dan Hawkins. Distance not a problem. He's on target. And Northland. I've got an advantage here. The Tanifa offside against Otago. 10 metres out, not. Straight to his hooker, Ross Wright. Had quite a shift tonight. Remember, no Jordan Olsen. And now blindside play again. Pryor. No nothing violence. will come of it, so after five phases, Northland playing all the rugby in the That's second right. half. And that one is off the upright, and it uh, falls there for Otago, so a chance to counter-attack through Rain Nu'u, Villamoni Koroi. He sends it downfield in a hurry. Here they come through Ranger in midfield. Rene Ranger dancing with the Otago defence. Creeping slowly. Now Will Tucker's in there. And they've got another advantage here, Northland. And Sam Knockle be happy to be a passenger there. Four metres out. Surely on here for Northland now. Hawkins, little kick pass over to the right wing here. How's the contest? Oh, beats everyone into touch. Jordan Highland wasn't that tall. Well, this has got to be a card now. They've already been warned, so it looks like Will Tucker, he has to go. Side of the more unbound. Too many penalties. No. So Will Tucker will spend 10 minutes in the bin. Uh, 21 out, 21. And Northland. That is a stable set piece. Stable enough. He's in Manu off the back. Dylan now goes searching for it. 
And he's done well. He wins a big penalty, Dylan, now. And look at Freedom of Hakolo saying, well done, mate. That was huge. Oh, it's absolutely massive in the context of this game. He has been at the physical forefront for the Sotago team's effort tonight. And again, he comes good. The depowered scrum, a one man less. Well, it wasn't depowered. They dug in, they bat through the mouth guard and pushed straight through it. And that gave this man the opportunity with some momentum. A four point lead for his side at the moment. Hamilton now Dixon. And some good go forward here for Otago. Leo Williams support. This out for Josh Ioane, gets it to Sam Gilbert, he's got support of Tompkinson. And Sio Tompkinson will score his second. And that might be it for Otago. Well, 13 phases at Tokken, remember they're down to 14 men are Otago, but that defensive hold for the last five minutes, they've turned it around and just one opportunity this half for the backs. And they've absolutely executed it. Here's Hamilton, nice pass, but again, Ioane, the realisation, the hole was on the inside, a nice ball to Gilbert, and the last pass to Sio Tompkinson, money. Well, the key is tempo, really. A big away victory over Northland. Leo Willie goes up there again for that number eight, Dylan Nell. He's had a storming game at number eight. There goes the hooter. Kane having in checks and he bangs it into touch. And Otago have their second win of the Bunnings NPC. A very good one. And they've beaten Northland 24 points to 13 in Rotorua.